<laughs> Good afternoon, House of Orange Ursula speaking. We have uh, an exclusive range of timber outdoor indoor furniture that's custom made um, here in Melbourne. Now I'm Dutch, I've only been here for nine and a half years. Ursula is half Dutch. I met Ursula in Holland. The designs are all Dutch inspired. Um, the business is called House of Orange after the royal family in Holland. So, and it's very true to what we stand for as, as Dutch design. If it's got to do about how everything looks, it's Ursula. I'm just uh, making everything, helping her out, talking through the designs. But she's the one who merchandises it and makes it look the way it looks. She picks all the colors, all the finishes, and, and I tell her if something's technically possible or not, with help of my guys, of course. Yeah. You know, we're, we're these kind of people who take our work home, and then we um, go through designs, talk, oh, maybe this or that. Sometimes I just make something in miniature scale, show her and ask her what she thinks, and she said, oh, maybe twist this a bit or do that. And then we come up with the design and then suddenly we got a new product. What's so special about Dutch design? Well, that's our whole story. Our story is that we, um, what we promote is a very clean, simple Nordic aesthetic, which is about clean lines and honest finishes, rounded edges, um, a slight imperfection to what we do, uh, and definitely you know, the opposite of generic. So every single piece we make is unique. Um, and that is the, I guess, the jacket of Dutch design is that it, um, it's, it's sober and understated and quite timeless. It's all handmade. We could easily outsource it somewhere in Asia, but that loses a lot of it instantly, will lose a lot of its appeal. And um, yeah, it's made what's said, with a lot of love. And um, it's very simple, understated furniture, which lends itself beautifully to be accessorized with great pieces. We've got some standard designs which are all can be seen in a showroom. Then we talk to the client the exact size measurements they want, some specifications they might alter on the original design and then we write an order and then we start making them. I, I draw up a, uh, an, an order cutting plan and we cut the timber. We start manufacturing the furniture within a few days after we receive the order. We've been quite fortunate with the um, editorial we received in the last three years in all the, the interior magazines and furniture magazines and that helped us to create a bit of a profile with interior designers, uh, landscapers, etc. And now Oak, also Oak, I threw a Dutch word in, <laughs> and now also quite a lot of uh, hospitality. What we're doing now also just to preserve our order portfolio and keep that nicely filled is that we're concentrating a bit more on um, interior pieces, beds. We lately made a four-piece bunk bed. You know, we make television cabinets, we make uh, storage cabinets. So we extend our normal outdoor range into indoor range. And what we do mainly there is give it another finish. You know, instead of our stains we use for our outdoors mainly, we start using beautiful colors paint exterior or interior paint, sometimes gloss, sometimes semi-gloss, and that means you, without losing the, 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 the beauty of the timber itself, you get a bit finer, more finesse in the, in the finish. So you create an indoor range of all different products. 